Listen to a discussion by a group of students in an oceanography class. Okay, in this course, we've discussed a number of the ocean's unusual features. Today, we're going to discuss atolls and how they're formed. First, can you tell me what an atoll is? Uh, Beth? An atoll's a ring-shaped mass of coral and algae. That's right. An atoll's made of coral and algae, and it's in the shape of a ring. And where are atolls found? Uh, Jim? Atolls are found in tropical and subtropical areas of the ocean. It's true that atolls are found in tropical and subtropical areas. Why is that, do you think? It's where the water temperature is fairly warm. The coral and reef-building algae grow best in fairly warm water. Okay. Now let's look at how atolls are formed. We'll look at a series of three diagrams and discuss what's happening in each. This diagram shows the first step in the process. What does the diagram show? Linda? Well, it, uh, looks like a volcano. It certainly does. But perhaps there's something more you could add? Uh, it's a volcanic island. A newer volcanic island that has formed recently. And what's growing around the volcanic island? Uh... A coral reef's growing around this new volcanic island. Yes, good. Okay, now let's look at the second diagram. Beth, can you describe what's happening in this diagram? The second diagram shows that the volcanic island has started to erode. It's wearing down. And what's been happening with the coral reef while the volcanic island has been eroding? The coral reef has continued to grow. Excellent. Now let's look at the third diagram in the series. What's happening in this diagram, Jim? Oh, well, in this diagram, you can see that the volcanic island has um, worn down so far that it's below the level of the ocean. The coral has built up even further, so the coral's above the water, and the remains of the volcano are underwater. Yes, and it's at this stage when the ring of corals called an atoll. The volcano has sunk, and there's a pool of water inside the atoll. Now, what do we call the pool of water that remains inside an atoll? Linda? The pool of water inside the atoll is called a lagoon. That's correct. The body of water inside an atoll is called a lagoon. Well, you seem to understand quite clearly how atolls result when coral reefs around volcanic islands continue to grow as the volcanic islands themselves diminish. Oh, that's all for today. I'll see you next class.